Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Exodus chapter 21. This is the Amplified Version. Ordinances for the people. Now these are the ordinances, laws, which you shall set before the Israelites. If you purchase a Hebrew servant because of his debt or poverty, he shall serve six years, and in the seventh year he shall leave as a free man, paying nothing. If he came to you alone, he shall leave alone. If he came married, then his wife shall leave with him. If his master gives him a wife, and she gives birth to sons or daughters, the wife and her children shall belong to her master, and he shall leave your service alone. But if the servant plainly says, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not leave as a free man, then his master shall bring him to God, that is, to the judges who act in God's name. Then he shall bring him to the door or doorpost, and his master shall pierce his ear with an awl, strong needle, and he shall serve him for life. If a man sells his daughter to be a female servant, she shall not go free after six years, as male servants do. If she does not please her master, who has chosen her for himself as a wife, he shall let her be redeemed by her family. He does not have the authority to, to sell her to a foreign people, because he has been unfair to her. If her master chooses her as a wife for his son, he shall act toward her as if she were legally his daughter. If her master marries another wife, he may not reduce her food, her clothing, or her privilege as a wife. If he does not do these three things for her, there shall she leave free without payment, without payment of money. Personal injuries. Whoever strikes a man so that he dies must be put to death. However, if he did not lie in wait for him, but God allowed him to fall into his hand, then I will establish for you a place to which he may escape for protection until duly tried. But if a man acts intentionally against another and kills him by design through treachery, you are to take him from my altar to which he may have fled for protection so that he may be put to death. Whoever strikes his father or his mother must be put to death. Whoever kidnaps a man, whether he sells him or is found with him, in his possession must be put to death. Whoever curses his father or his mother or treats them contemptuously must be put to death. If men quarrel and one strikes another with a stone or with his fist, and he does not die but is confined to bed, if he gets up and walks around leaning on his cane, then the one who struck him shall be left physically unpunished. He must only pay for his loss of time at work and the cost of treatment and recuperation until he is thoroughly healed. If a man strikes his male or his female servant with a staff and the servant dies at his hand, he must be punished. If, however, the servant survives for a day or two, the offender shall not be punished, for the injured servant is his own property. If men fight with each other and it injure a pregnant woman so that she gives birth prematurely, and the baby lives, yet there is no further injury. The one who hurt her must be punished with a, a fine paid to the woman's husband, as much as the judges decide. But if, there's only, but if there is any further injury, then you shall require as a penalty life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, burn for burn, wound for wound, bruise for bruise. If a man hits the eye of his male servant or female servant and it is destroyed, he must let the servant go free because of the loss of the eye. And if he knocks out the tooth of his male servant or female servant, he must let the servant go free because of the loss of the tooth. If an ox gores a man or a woman to death, the ox must be stoned and its meat shall not be eaten, but the owner of the ox shall be cleared of responsibility. But if the ox has tried to gore on a previous occasion and its owner has been warned but has not kept it confined and it kills a man or a woman, the ox shall be stoned and its owner shall be put to death as well. If a ransom is demanded of him in return for his life, then he shall give whatever is demanded 
for the redemption of his life. If the ox has gored another son or daughter, he shall be dealt with according to the same rule. If this, if the ox gores a male or a female servant, the owner shall give to the servant's master thirty shekels of silver, the purchase price for a slave, and the ox shall be stoned. If a man leaves a pit open or digs a pit and does not cover it, and an ox or a donkey falls into it, the owner of the pit shall make restitution. He shall give money to the animal's owner, but the dead animal shall be his. If one man's ox injures another's so that it dies, then they shall sell the, the live ox and divide the proceeds equally. They shall also divide the dead ox between them. Or if it is known that the ox was previously in the habit of goring, and its owner has not kept it confined, he must make restitution of ox for ox, and the dead animal shall be his. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.